Hey guys, I hope you're good. This is Max from MHS Pod, and today I will show you how to create this nice effect and to destruct your videos. You maybe saw this effect on our page, and some people asked me how you can achieve this effect. It's a really popular effect uh, called pixel sorting. Some people are doing it with Photoshop, but I personally use the plugin AE Pixel Sorter 2. You will find the link under the description. It's really affordable and really nice to create a uh, super dope effect. I will also show you uh, data moshing with uh, the data mosh plugin. I think it's really nice to create uh, destruction and glitch over your videos. It's uh, really cool. And I will also show you the universe uh, effect suite. It's uh, my favorite effect suite for After Effects. And I think VHS glitch and Holomatrix 2 are super nice to create trendy glitch effects. Everybody loves glitch, it's the new trend. If you're new to our channel, I invite you to join our Facebook group called Motion Designers Community. You will be able to share your renders, talk with people, uh, get inspiration, give feedbacks, and uh, and see uh, strange dance happen. Okay. Uh, you can also join our Discord and many things, just check the, the link. Uh, under the description and we have a website with event nice shop contest really nice contest and tutorials to go in depth like in X particle in octane wall machine stuff just check the description and you will love it i will disable my head and uh, we will start right now I will append my effect with the plugin FX console from Video Copilot. So I will create a new layer, Control Alt Y to create an effect layer, and I will hit Control Space Bar to append AE Pixel Sorter. If you do not have um, the FX console effect, uh, which is a free uh, a free plugin that you can find under the Video Copilot website. You can just uh, check under your effects and uh, parameters on the top right panel and just take AE, you can find AE pixel sorter. I think it's also a nice way, but I like the fact that you can just have the bar uh, everywhere, everywhere. So it AE pixel sorter and you see the magic is already happening. I'm just destroying a myth because uh, many people uh, are thinking that it's hard to achieve this effect and uh, people really love this effect but it's really nice to use you have, even have a how to use on the top there um, important things are what do you want to affect highlights or shadows you see here i'm um, affecting the shadows and here i'm affecting the highlights and you have a threshold. So I will affect the shadows and I will change the angle. So I will hit zero to have this effect. And with the threshold, I can have an effect with less or more strength. And I can create really nice transition by just setting a few keyframes there, maybe there. And I think it's a uh, Oh, I forget to. No, that's nice. Okay, so it's animated right now. Uh, really nice. You can also invert sorting and change the block size. That's the most important thing. Um, one is nice because it's uh, the most popular uh, effect with a single um, trails, but you can also have more. Glitch, uh, glitches effect like this, but I personally prefer um, like this. You can change the length, offset, offset random cycle, uh, and more effects uh, like this. You can also change the output. But I think the most important things are what you want to affect: uh, the angle, the threshold, and maybe the block size. Then it's just playing with the effect, like if you want to have something uh, smoother or not. But you see, it's changing many things or the resolution. You can destruct your image. I think on Instagram, 
someone asked hey why um, why uh, the image is low res um, it's just uh, because uh, I destruct a bit the the image uh, with this so you can just uh, have something really low low res on your image okay I think it's uh, it's everything about this effect just uh, test it and uh, find good ways to achieve and also you can change the opacity to create uh, some kind of blending effect if you want to keep uh, clear lines so it's pixel sorting a really nice effect also um, I can show you two other effects uh, sometimes I use a finisher from the universe suite it helps me to add uh, more details on some part you see more details and also I like to use uh, Tunit Studio but with a small amount may maybe like uh, sometime 10 just because uh, it add more strength to the, to the shadows uh, give some some kind of uh, strength so it's all the effects I used on the on this image and then a, a bit of color correcting but nothing too too strange there and the mesh was done in Cinema 4D and the render in the physical render and so it's an older render made uh, three or four years ago I think I, I don't remember but right now let's jump on better things let's take uh, this older video uh, made with uh, Yvan Fuzzy and Sylvain Favre for the Yamag opening we've made this uh, title sequence really nice really nice but it's too nice I feel that we should just destruct the video I think you feel the same just just the destroy things nice let's take this small part and let's use the nice data mesh you will find data mesh under extension get data mesh it uh, taking a bit of time nice man uh, small tutorial and it's really easy to use I mean you just need to select a preset but you can just change things um, on your own you can add some keyframes you see you only have to play with these parameters and click on data mesh you click data mesh it's rendering you need to create another project it will open also this uh, strange uh, thing but just let the plugin do uh, its thing I mean just uh, call it data mesh and it's going to, to render the video then we need to wait and then it will import the, the video and we will have the effect sometime it can be a bit buggy uh, with the point AVI I don't know why I don't know why it's making this if it's uh, bugging too much with point AVI just retry with uh, another format file format I think we just add a bug Thank you After Effects for being so amazing and crashing for our tutorial. After Effects. So sorry about this. That's the tutorial uh, thing. But you may know, uh, like if you try this plugin, you may have this issue. So that's a good way. I show you this issue so you will be able to solve it. 
uh, all you can solve it is just to change and do not export in point um, avi just export in uh, h264 um, and it's going to be nice thank you i love you after effects i love you data much so 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 magic you see how fast it is i think doing some houdini is going to be faster in the future than just importing something <laughs> okay but i still love after effects right we are joking about what we love because I think all the effects inside After Effects are the best. I mean, really easy to use, really nice. Data Marsh back. Just uh, stay like this. That's my new dog. It's uh, going crazy. And I can just change here and I will uh, go to uh, maybe this. Where can I change the export? I think it's there. But I remember that we can select another thing alpha AVI. Uh, let's go for this and see if it, it fits working better. Data mush. I think it's going to to bug again. Oh, complete. Very nice. I love when when something is is complete. And you see, oh, really nice. I mean, it's really ugly, but it's really nice. It changed my color. I don't know why, but I have my effect. I'm happy. Why? Why this? This is happening. But you understand how it works. Like you only have to add your videos and select a preset, change parameters, and the magic will happen. Um, it's really, really simple to use. We can also try it um, like uh, in another sequence, maybe the beginning. Okay. Effect. Data mush. You see, really simple to use. Um, let's change, let's go to OG Cache. Let's try this one. And that I mash it. Want to see the dog? It's it's right there. I can even show you the dog. really compressed and it's wow it's amazing it's amazing I really love it I really love it right now that's the best glitch effect I ever see come on that's that's just beautiful you see that's really nice <laughs> you see that's really really nice and um, it was 
it was one of the most random tutorial <laughs> I've made. And let's check what we can do with the glitch and the holo matrix and the things we can find under um, the universe suite. So let's take um, some kind of strange video. Yeah, big, big man. Love this guy. Nice. And you can just append your glitch effect from universe and just choose a preset and you have a lot of really cool presets to start with and uh, I think the effect in itself oh, 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 oh. the effect in itself oh, 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 is really oh, 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 oh. amazing. And you have a lot of control, like you can control the amount of compression. You can control the glitch frequency, glitch speed, like uh, I want something slower, glitch speed random, small glitches, and under each uh, parameter you can just change like known, uh, saturation, complexity, size, aspect, pattern, and white glitch. You have basically two types of glitch, small glitches and white glitches. You can uh, just play, have something black and white if you want. Just uh, play with different things. Pattern size. And you can oh, easily oh, 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 oh. effect. I think it's really, really nice. Don't go over up now. I like also the preset uh, just displacement and if I lower the intensity for example it's great oh, well, up, down, well, up, down. can lower the glitch frequency uh, maybe a bit glitch speed like 10 I think it's creating nice oh, well, up, well, up, down, well, up, down. yeah you see some strange glitches happen sometimes and it's a good way to create uh, Really nice effect, I think. I I love glitch. I'm. Yeah, it's adding a bit of depth to the video. Uh, you can also check artists like uh, Eduardo. Um, he's making nice glitch, but it's more. He's more doing like manual glitches with a uh, tracking animating layers and stuff but uh, if my tutorial you can check so there are sev several ways to create I mean you can do a lot of things manually here I show you the my three favorite plugin uh, to do it like in an automatic way AA pixel so sorter data mosh just play with this one you will get crazy results and if you have bugs just uh, change the export settings and uh, universe suite the, the best uh, yes the best effect suite for after effects hope you guys guys sorry hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, small video uh, and i hope you will create really nice things join the community and have a good time bye